Good morning, YouTube. What's up? This is Mr. Tun 2 back again with yet another video. And guys, today you're in for a big laugh. Oh my goodness, what did I get myself into yet again? Hey guys, how's it going? Well, guys, what can I say? I really, really screwed up this time. I tried installing this uh, brand new roof wrap that I got from. Um, eBay, an eBay buy it now auction, and it came to me completely destroyed, completely messed up. But being as, as much of a car enthusiast as I am, I try to install it anyways. And let me tell you, I epically failed. Oh my goodness, it came out looking like complete crap. The beginning of this nightmare started off with this wrap that got damaged during shipping from eBay. Oh my goodness, look at that big tear at the halfway point of it. Wow, it looks like this is going to be a wrapping nightmare. Oh my goodness. And so, the beginning of this nightmare, you obviously start off with a subject. For instance, in this case, my 2014 Volkswagen Jetta S. Just like any other car, the procedure for installing a roof wrap is exactly the same. First, you start off by simply washing the roof followed by letting it air dry. Next up, we begin to pull the headliner and start to remove the shark fin antenna. I wanted to note here that I had previously removed the top rear spoiler off of the rear windshield prior to deciding to wrap the roof. Next step was to wipe down the roof with rubbing alcohol that I got from a local drugstore. Using a milk crate here as a step helps out a lot on your back. The good thing about the rubbing alcohol is that it dries pretty much instantly. So after that's done, you go ahead and lay down your necklace tape. Then go ahead and pull out your wrap from your shipping packaging. And just look how bad my wrap is here. Oh my goodness, this is so laughable and downright bad. Just look at the center of it. My oh my, is that wrinkled and crumpled right up. Oh my god. So from just seeing exactly how badly damaged the wrap was during shipping, you can see how this is so laughable right now on the car unrolled. Oh my goodness, lol. This wrap looks completely horrible and doesn't look like you can fix this at all. Do you guys think these wrinkles and crinkles will just buff out? Ha ha ha! No. However though, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was still up for trying it out to see whether or not it's still installable and will look, you know, at least half decent. So on with installing it, I went. Started peeling back the underside cover and simply applied the sticky part onto the roof. I then after proceeded to stage the wrap, but as you can see, these wrinkles and crinkles were just too far gone and just too far beyond anyone's ability to get the vast majority of them out. As you can also see in this picture, it's just so laughable. I epically failed, I just threw in the towel and gave up. I also managed to cut the side of the wrap off uh, so I can get in and out of the car without any problems. So coming to grips with my epic fail, I immediately went onto Instagram and researched local professional wrapping shops. I managed to get in touch with a local guy and we booked an appointment for two days later on. As the first day went by, it turns out the guy gave me a call back saying uh, that he was free on that day, which was only one day afterwards. And he said, yeah, come to the shop right now and we'll do it for you. So I proceeded to go to the shop. And as you can see on the garage and on the back door, the shop is called Automize Car Wraps. Here is their Instagram account. So I drove to the shop, took me about a good 45 minutes to get there and the whole way there I drove with the failed wrap still installed on the car. 
The reason behind that was that my uh, antenna hole was obviously open and, you know, susceptible to any water leaks. So I just simply kept the filled wrap on as a precaution to avoid any potential leaks on the drive to the shop. On the drive there, the wrap that I installed split down the middle at the front of it and thus caused a lot of wind noise and rattling sounds. Soon after arriving at the shop, I simply just drove the car in and the wrap installer uninstalled my old wrap free of charge very quickly and easily, hassle free and quickly and easily started getting right to work. Starting out fresh with new wrap material, the installer had a really easy time starting off the job. He used that Avery Denison branded wrap in a gloss black finish. And just like that, a few minutes later, with a couple of hand strokes, the wrap was almost done. After that, a couple more nips and tucks, plus a little bit of heat gun action, and my Jetta's roof was all wrapped. And here's the Jetta all done from the rear of the vehicle. Once we drove the vehicle out of the shop and parked in front of the garage door, oh my goodness, the memory of the disappointment was instantly erased out of my mind. I was so happy and thrilled that my dreams have come true with this car. Here's another picture of the front end of the car. I think it looks so freaking fabulous and I'm so extremely happy with the outcome. And of course the rear end driver's side. Oh my goodness, it makes the car look so much more upscale and luxurious. And right back at home in my garage where the whole hilarious fiasco began. And then a couple of days later after I got the wrap installed, I finally reinstalled back my OEM Shockman antenna. Although I think the car looks better with it uninstalled, it appears to look more cleaner and sleeker. Here it is from another angle. You can see where I'm getting it. So there you go guys, there you have it from a mod that started out to be a hilarious nightmare, DIY, to a professional dream come true. So it goes to show, you don't really need Shane or Curtis from InChain Designs to wrap your car. Any professional wrapping shop can do the job just fine. Just as long as you don't start out with the same nightmarish material that I started out with. This is Mr. Greek 2002 signing out. Later guys, deuces.